What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here in this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. I just wanted to do a little follow up on the video that I posted yesterday, in case some of you guys don't go onto Mav Chat or into Discord, as that is where I found out that the account that burned nine million DEC, I think, worth of cards is the reason we had that huge DEC print. So it was about nine million DEC. It seemed like it was a bunch of cards. Uh, Byzantine Kitty posted it in Mav Chat earlier today, earlier this morning, after saying that Yabamat had looked into it. So we now know the account was Cuppy, C-U-P-P-I-E, but there is an associated account where this, uh, I guess this bot farm or whatever it is, has even more cards. Uh, so you can see here the account is actually A-N-P-H-T, and the card, or the, the account is currently holding $17,000 worth of cards, and more importantly, 11.8 8 million CP, or if they do choose to burn all of these cards, it would be, you know, roughly 12 million DEC that would be added into the DEC ecosystem. So here's the thing. These cards, from what I understand, are only legendary and epics, and it seems as though they're getting listed to be sold. So I'm assuming the other cards that were burned, again, I didn't look into the, the full details, but those cards were probably commons and rares, which are much more difficult. There's there's not enough liquidity in the market to soak that up. Whereas these cards, epics and, well, at least legendaries for the most part, tend to trade much higher than their burn rate. So there is an opportunity cost there. If you're looking for a quick exit, you only get 500 DEC for burning a legendary versus it looks like they're getting listed for $1.70 right now. So there is a chance that these cards don't get burned because they are of a higher rarity, but if they do, at least from what we know now, the maximum amount of DEC that would hit the system from this action would be about 12 million DEC. And so, you know, this isn't the end of the world. Uh, I Again, I get concerned whenever I see the numbers go up like that, but 12 million DEC, I'd say during a bad period of time, we could probably burn that in less than two weeks, uh, assuming that we burn roughly like 1 million DEC a day when we're not in a great burning event or there's not some major catalyst. But with land coming up, or land 1.5, I should say, with potentially new guild buildings, even though we have guild power already, the end of the great burning, right, where we're coming into the last week of that, and then, of course, any other things that the team has planned for the future, I'm not necessarily worried about 12 million more DEC, especially now that we know the culprit of it. And if this is one of the major bot farms that is clearly exiting the game at this point... I, I think I think it's great, right? We we get rid of it. We the the cards either get burned or distributed to people who actually want them, and ultimately we are able to move on and move forward from this without you know some major major extraction happening. So just wanted to report on it, let you guys know where where we're at. Uh, I don't know what the status is, if there are other major bot farms out there that will potentially engage in the same kind of thing in the future. But when you think about the fact that I, I think somebody said there's like 90, over 90,000 BCX here, uh, 12 million CP. If we if we consider however many bot farms are holding this many cards, I don't think it'll be something outrageous. Now, granted, obviously... Every DEC that we burn is important, uh, and that all goes towards getting the flywheel to work. But seeing that there is a limited downside here, aka 12 million DEC, I'm feeling a little bit better about it. I'm glad the team was able to share with us after doing a little investigative, investigative research and was able to share with us exactly what it was, share the account name, and then obviously a little more detective work was able to share the associated account here. So... You know, I'm curious. I want to get your thoughts. How are you guys feeling about this? At the end of the day, it's making it's making a lot of the cards much more scarce in that sense. Or, you know, if they end up do uh, if they do end up dumping for even cheaper prices on the market, there's an opportunity to get your Countess Sineshes and uh, other legendary cards for significantly cheaper. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. I'll keep it short and sweet. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like I said, just wanted to follow up after yesterday's video. I'll catch you all in the next one. I'll see you around the game. Have an amazing rest of your day. Take care.